YouTube, it's Kim and welcome to the Fit and Fab Fall Collab. I had so much fun doing this last year, I wanted to do it again, so I asked my favorite Weight Watchers and Weight Loss YouTubers if they wanted to join in and they did. So I'm going to be showing you this awesome easy peasy pumpkin pie spice pumpkin puree. I got this from The Shrinking Mama on Instagram. And this stuff is so versatile. You can use it for so many things. I'm gonna be showing you three ways on how you can use this stuff. First up is gonna be a pumpkin pie overnight oats for four smart points. Then I'm gonna show you pumpkin banana bread recipe courtesy of Jen Weight Watcher on Instagram. That is only three smart points. And lastly, I am going to show you how to make a pumpkin pie protein shake for also only four smart points. So be sure to check out all the ladies listed down below. Check out their channels, check out their Fit and Fab full collab videos. Everybody is doing such awesome full related stuff. So let's get to making some pumpkin pie spice puree. So for the easy peasy pumpkin spice puree, you are going to need one can of 100% pure pumpkin, some pumpkin spice, some zero calorie sweetener. I'm using uh, Target's brand of Splenda, vanilla, and some sugar-free syrup. You are going to need a your blender, or I'm using my Nutribullet, or you can use an immersion blender. You can use a food processor. Food processor. So in here, we are going to throw the pumpkin. To that pumpkin, we're gonna add a quarter cup of syrup. Now I am going to use my scale so I don't have to use a measuring spoon. And a quarter cup is 60 milliliters. So it makes it super easy. All right, 61 mLs, close enough. One teaspoon of vanilla goes in, one teaspoon of Pumpkin pie spice. Mmm, smells so good. And five packets of sweetener. And let's blend it all up. So I am using this Nutribullet, got this on Amazon. If you are looking for an awesome blender for your smoothies or protein shakes or anything, I will put that link down below. Let's blend it all up. <laughs> So here is the finished product. It 100% smells like pumpkin pie. Now the points. If you were to eat this entire canister of the pumpkin puree, it would only be one smart point. But we're going to use this for two different recipes. And I've seen people put it on their waffles, put it on their toast, like pumpkin butter. If you search the hashtag easy peasy pumpkin spice puree on Instagram, you'll get tons of other ideas to use for this stuff. To transfer it to a mason jar, and then you're simply gonna store it in your fridge. This recipe we are going to make with the pumpkin spice puree is pumpkin spice overnight oats. This recipe is gonna be four smart points. You're gonna use a half cup of the old fashioned oats, a half cup of the unsweetened vanilla almond milk, and a quarter cup of the pumpkin spice puree. You don't need any spices because it's already in the puree. So let's put everything in our mason jar. So in here I did measure half of a cup or 40 grams of these old fashioned oats, half a cup or 120 mLs of this vanilla almond milk and a quarter cup of the easy peasy pumpkin spice puree. But I forgot to hit the record button. So we're gonna pretend you just watched that and so this is all mixed up and we're going to put it in our fridge overnight and we'll check on it in the morning. Next we are going to be making pumpkin spice banana bread. So it's very similar to that chocolate and chip banana bread that I made last week. And, but we're going to be adding in the pumpkin spice to make it pumpkin bread. So you're going to need a mini loaf pan and you're going to spray it with some cooking spray and preheat your oven to 350 degrees. So in your bowl you want to mash up a ripe banana and add three tablespoons of egg whites. I'm using these liquid egg whites and three tablespoons is 46 grams. 
going to add a fourth of a cup of old-fashioned oats. So a fourth of a cup is 20 grams. So I just zero that out. To that, we're going to add a fourth a cup of the Easy Peasy Pumpkin Spice Puree. And let's get that all mixed up. Then we are going to pour this into our mini loaf pan. And that's right, you guessed it. We're going to top it with five grams of mini morsels because chocolate makes everything better. So we are going to put that into the oven for between 40 to 45 minutes until a nerf, a nerf, a knife inserted comes out clean. Okay, while well that is cooking, I figured let me show you one more recipe. This is going to be a pumpkin pie spice protein shake. I figure since this is dirty, why not? Let's use it, make a protein shake. I need a snack anyway. So you are going to need any protein powder. I have my BPI Sports Vanilla Swirl. You can use any vanilla protein powder, even a salted caramel, I'm sure will be delicious. Unsweetened vanilla almond milk and some more of your pumpkin pie spice puree. So in here, we are going to add one cup of almond milk, which is 120 mLs. To the almond milk, I'm gonna add a scoop of my protein powder. And we're gonna go ahead and add a quarter cup of the pumpkin pie spice puree. Now we're gonna blend up that yummy shake. Now let's pour it into our glass. Then I went ahead and topped it with some sugar-free whipped cream for one smart point, five grams of sugar-free Caramel sauce for zero smart points. The shake itself is three smart points, so that makes this delicious treat for smart points. And it's loaded with protein. Here is the baked pumpkin banana bread. This recipe comes from Jen Weight Watcher on Instagram. Definitely check her out, and I can't wait to eat it. So here are the pumpkin spice overnight oats. They smell amazing, they taste amazing. This entire container is four smart points. And you can eat it hot or cold. I prefer overnight oats cold, but you check it out and see what you think. So as you can see, you can still make full recipes and stay on track. Please let me know if you try any of the recipes. I always love to hear when you guys make stuff and love it. And again, be sure to check out the list of other ladies who are participating in this collab. Their channels are wonderful. They are wonderful. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed and stay full fabulous.